wanted to get a motorcycle hearse because I'm a I'm a big believer that life needs to be celebrated. Um, and so this is just a way, a unique way to celebrate life, to make the funeral memorable and special uh, for families, um, and to differentiate myself from other funeral homes. Uh, I'm the only funeral home in this county that owns, owns a motorcycle hearse. Um, there's only three funeral homes uh, in the state that own one. And so I wanted something different. Um, I'd seen them in some publications before, so I contacted the company and ordered it and told them if they had something different they wanted to try um, to let me know. The guy called me back a couple months later. He said, were you serious about being different? And I said, absolutely. Um, we've always wanted to finish one in flat satin uh, with hand painted striping. No other funeral homes allowed us to do that because they always want the high gloss. Um, he said it would be the, the first one that's ever finished in flat satin any, that we've made worldwide. I said, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, so they did. And the response has been just overwhelming and tremendous. Um, and you were just in New York recently. That yep, you we, were, we were in. There. Uh, we had a family call us from New York that wanted our services and the hearse uh, for their loved one, and so we were honored that we were able to help them out uh, and be there. We've gone uh, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, um, a lot here in Michigan. Uh, so if we're if we're able to get there, we will definitely be there for the families. Sure. It's a 2016 Harley uh, Davidson Road King that was uh, converted to a trike. The, the builder has their own trike kit with the fenders and all that stuff. So they, they build that from there and then they build the entire coach uh, and they customize everything together. Uh, it's got the fifth wheel style um, setup, so it's, it's very easy to pull. You don't even really notice that it's back there. I've had it on the expressway um, up to 70 miles an hour on the expressway. You don't even know it's there. Um, Sometimes I wish there was a windshield on there because, you know, rainy or buggy, but um, aesthetic wise, I don't want the windshield. But yeah, it's, the thing pulls great. It's got the 103 cubic inch motor. Um, there's a lot of horsepower there, a lot of get up and go. It's got LED lights in all of the wheel wells, uh, purple, um, wigwags on the front. Um, so it's a pretty unique setup. So you were telling me you had never rode a motorcycle before this correct so did you all of a sudden this shows up at your door and you're like what am i going to do or did you all of a sudden go sign up for a class and learn how no, to ride a bike? When, when i when i ordered it um i signed up uh, i went to hot rod harley davidson in muskegon and i they have a four-day um, harley riding course and i took that the instructors were wonderful um there was i think eight people in the class and when i left that start it was thursday through sunday uh, when, by Sunday, I had passed the state um, test for the uh, skills test. I went on Monday, took my test, and became endorsed. And some gentle persuasion convinced my wife that I probably needed to buy another bike <laughs> just so I could practice. Um, and so we, so I did that. And so now I, actually, right now I own two, three Harleys. This one plus two others, and I'm selling one. But yeah, so that was, um, I absolutely love it now. It's just, it's a for me, it's great therapy. You know, if you have a stressful day, go hop on the bike, drive around for an hour, and just kind of carries the world go away. So it's an addiction, like they it say. It is. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And is your wife she all is. on she, board now? She is. Um, actually, the bike I, I just bought last week um, was one that's got a, the back seat for her, and as long as it had speakers and a cup holder, she was good. <laughs> <laughs> so it does it does have both of those things for her. Awesome. Now, do you find that? non-motorcycle enthusiasts request this hearse yes. because of just how cool it is? Yes. I've, I've used this hearse um, for as young of a person as a year and a half. Um, the, obviously she had never ridden on a bike at a year and a half, but her family was into motorcycles and they just thought that was a, you know, that her face used to light up when the motorcycles would come over to the house and they just thought that was a you know, really neat way to honor her. Mm -hmm. I've used it for a lady who was 93 years old. Um, family shared with me that her she took her first ride when she was 75 her brother rode his butt his trike up from Tennessee they said she got on it and mom you know to quote them mom had a hoot <laughs> and rode for a few miles and loved it and so the family said would you have to be a biker to use this and I said absolutely not and they said well you know mom would mom would really get a kick out of this and we could use a little levity in the whole situation so can That's we awesome. use it for her absolutely and so we've used you know we used it for people who are in motorcycle clubs We've used it for people who are just motorcycle enthusiasts, and we've used it for people who just want to be different. 
So what if somebody has cremated remains? They don't have a casket. Can they still use this as part of their trip to go bury the cremated remains to the cemetery? Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we had a custom um, urn arc built, and so it's finished uh, very similar to this with the same coloring as the, f the flooring inside. Um, and we've used that to take um, cremated remains to the cemetery. Another thing we've actually used it quite a lot for is we do final rides for folks. Mm -hmm. So if they have three or four favorite spots that they like to go to, we've, we'll take the cremated remains and we plan out the route and we have all the, the, the bikers line up at the funeral home and then we go to their favorite spots. Uh, one, one particular guy I remember, we went to three of his favorite uh, local bars and they a different person or family member at each bar would take his urn out, they would bring it in, they'd sit at the bar, they would open, <laughs> they opened a Budweiser, they set it on the urn, <coughs> they had their drink, and we continued on then, when, and then somebody else would place the urn back in, in, into the coach, and we continued on to the next stop. And it was, it's something that for families who don't want necessarily a funeral, or it gives them an option to have something, um, because I'm a big believer that you know, people are important and their lives should be celebrated. And so for those who don't want a funeral, it gives them that option to do something unique. Now, what if the family says, hey, can we rent this from you and we'll go take them um, for a ride around or can we drive it to the cemetery? Can we actually be the one to? Unfor unfortunately, I don't allow that. I have such a huge investment in this. Um, I I don't, I have a few people who I who I know, I trust and I let I let them drive. I've, I mean, it, the, the hardest part actually is backing this up. There is reverse in it, so it will back up on its own. But with the short wheelbase and stuff, I just, uh, no, I, I, I or, or somebody from my staff are the ones who drive it. Yeah. Okay. So I have talked in several videos about how much I love biker funerals. The sound when all of them in the parking lot turn on their bikes yep. at the same time. Try and put words into that from your perspective, especially that you get to start one of them up. Uh, the back, the neck, the hair on the back of your neck stands up. Yeah. Um, because usually they I got goosebumps right now. They they don't fire their bikes up generally until I fired this one up, and when they do, and they all start revving their motors, That's it awesome. is just an experience unlike any other, and it is just yeah. I mean it's. It's a really, I mean, it's almost a deafening sound, but it's really, really cool. It's, it rumbles like in your core, I feel like, when those bikes all start up. It Even does. if there's 10, it's It does, because, just... I mean, bikers are always, you know, proud of their loud pipes. Uh, we had the exhaust and the pipes that um, upgraded on this bike when we had okay. it built. So it's got that deep, kind of throaty Harley rumble. And yeah, yeah it, it's an awesome. Well, and you know, sometimes bikers get such a bad, um, I don't know. People think they're maybe hardened or gruff. Some some groups of bikers, and so I always said they they may look the hardest, but they crumble the most at funerals. They're they cry openly a lot of times. I find, and um, so for you to get to like lead that group, that this group that probably wouldn't follow you on a general day, they're gonna follow you anywhere, and I kind of love that. Oh, my my experience with bikers, they are the one of the best groups of people to work mm -hmm. with. They they wear their heart, you know, hearts on their sleeve. They will do anything for a fellow biker. Mm -hmm. They are wonderful people to work with. Um, gracious, uh, generous, kind, caring. I mean, they they'll help the the grieving family out. Yeah. Um, they are just an absolute awesome group of people to work with. question for you. I know you're working on a new hearse we are. and we'll hopefully get to see that maybe spring yep. time. What other foreshadowing do you see in the hearse world? Like any that you dream of that you think might be too grand or crazy or? No, I've got, um, I've never been accused of being short on ideas. <laughs> 
and some of them are a little out there. Um, one of them that we're going to have uh, ready in the spring. Um, but I've got some more in my head, and I, me personally, I see a whole niche for this of you know ways that we can honor the unique, unique, yeah, the uniqueness of people and their life um, with with the hearse and that ceremony, and we'll see. I got some, I got some pretty far out ideas. Yeah.